Hey everybody, it's Harold with Nurse Angie Adventures. We are at the Beaver Cemetery in Xenia, Ohio. There's the ch church house, it's a reformed church. Pretty old stones. Angie's going to be doing the older section. I'm going to be doing the somewhat newer section. So, on that note, enjoy! Today, folks. Our baby, little child, our baby. Glenn Trabine. Now Trabine, pretty big name in southwest Ohio. Don't know the relation of this Trabine, but it's notable. This stone is massive. That is huge. Another Revolutionary War. service. It's like a family plot here. We got Dernbaugh, Andrew, and Harriet, and then we have Planter and a couple of pillow stones. I guess they're called pillow stones, but behind it we got another pillow stone, and then Wilbur, Elizabeth, and Teddy. Teddy was very young. Let's see. We'll have what looks like a homestead laser engraved into the stone. Swigger. Lawn mower in the background. Welcome to Ohio on the spring. Another unique stone shape out here. Kind of a quarter round. I mean, this uh, died 10 days after birth. This one only two. My goodness. Really nice big chunky stone here. Lance, John, and Rebecca. Revolutionary War. Revolutionary War. Actually, no, World War One. my mistake. I think I'm tired today. This gentleman must have been a railroad engineer. The last train home, Ranger Law. Warrant Officer Lawrence Spar, United States Army, World War II. The outskirts of Xenia, you do see a lot of names you would see in Dayton, like Munger out here. In South Dayton, there is a road called Munger Road, I believe, in Miami Township. So this is a stone that really touched my heart. Read it carefully. Loving memory of our dear son, Private First Class Joby Obert Lyon, 1925, Company G, 
400 and second <laughs> Infantry, 106th Division, the Golden Lion Division, who gave his life for his country in 1945. His life ended while a prisoner of war in Germany. 400 and The 422nd. I goofed on this so bad, and it's not even funny. Because, I mean, look at the magnitude of what I'm looking at here. This man died at the hand of Nazi Germany. God bless you, man. I salute you. Have a moment of silence for him here. I salute you, sir. Yeah, someone should probably come through and fix some of these veteran markers. They're completely bent over. Um, A couple of them like this need to be repaired. Killed in the service of his country at Tenson, China. Korea War. Take another moment of silence. A lot of veterans here. Very veteran heavy cemetery. I mean, let me pan around just look at all the flags. It's amazing here. It really is. like this down. It's like half cut boulder. Two more World War II vets. 